Hi you guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you are watching this video. Hi. Um, actually it is Sunday here, it's like almost 10.30 in the morning and the drink that I'm going to have today is a mimosa because I relate Sundays to mimosas when you're going out for brunch. So we are going to use, ah, this glass is courtesy out of Trisha's Tubs. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even get the drinks out, my Asti, and I will show you what I get. And you, all you'll need is champagne, Prosecco, Asti, whatever you like, and then orange juice, orange juice. I never have orange juice in my fridge, but I brought some because Trisha was coming over, so I was going to get some. So I'll use some. With my mimosa. Now, this is my all-time favorite. I know it's very inexpensive, but I'm an Asti person. It's the Andre, but you got to get the Spamante kind because I love the bubbles. It's like a, a alcoholic soda pop, and there's not a lot of alcohol in this either, but um, sometimes I don't even take that little gold thing off. I like the twisty ones, but today I'm going to have to take it off, of course. Of course, I guess I'm weak today on Sunday. So hopefully you guys are going to go out and enjoy the day today. It's supposed to be beautiful here anyway in Southern California. Oh man, now it's not going to work and I'm going to be so, so disappointed. Let me get something. I need the grabber. Oh, actually, you know, a Stacey Burke, she does YouTube too. I love you, Stacey. Hey, it's a shout out, but she always says she uses pliers because she can't get it off either, but I always find like a rag, even at work when I had to undo the Prosecco ones. Bottles. One one Sunday, I opened 97 bottles of Prosecco. That's how many mimosas we went to because there were so many delayed flights. So people came back to the bars and just kept having mimosas. So, but this is so easy. How easy is that? You just twist it and you're, you're ready to go. Oh, boy, put the lid back on. So, all you have to do, pretty easy drink. Anybody can make this. Pour in. Your champagne, sparkling wine, oh, even not alcoholic wine. Everything, everything that it has alcohol in it can make it a virgin. Okay, so that should be good. Let me show you. Okay, I fill it up to the top because it is my Sunday, and oh my goodness, what we are cooking today. I haven't even told you guys, but you know what? First things first, we got to get this little drink because we have to cheers to the day that we have been given to make a difference in this world or to just treat someone kindly today. Okay, did you guys see that? Oh, let me get that out of the way, by the way. Okay, that is why I have, let me make sure my video is going. Okay, it's okay. It's just a little orange juice and these things. Okay, there we go. Okay, now also, the, the uh, original mimosa had the orange juice, and you could add cranberry juice. I've had people put in grapefruit juice. That would be good, too. Don't think I would put the V8 juice in, but you could put as little as you, or as much as you want. That's about right. So, that is that. I like when you go out and have mimosas, some of the restaurants I'll bring you the little pitcher with your orange juice and then they bring you the glass of your champagne and then you just put in as much as you want. Anyway, cheers you guys. Mm. Yes, if you guys have the day off, cheers double to you because you probably worked all week and those that work today, hey, I'm with you. I always had to work Sundays so much of my life, so... I feel for you. Have one when you get home. That little mimosa. Okay, so today, today we are going to do something that I have never tried to really make. I made, I made them 25 years ago and they did not turn out. Maybe I didn't have a recipe or not. I don't know. I thought, oh, it's just easy. I'm just going to do it. But I love onion rings. I love them. But they don't, 
I never go out to get like a really good onion ring. I've and I even just tried some in the bag in the oven, and you know they were okay, but nothing you know I'd write home to mom about. Anyway, we are going to make these with Trisha Yearwood's recipe, who is Garth Brooks's wife. She is on Food Network, and um. She made these and she made me so hungry. I'm like, girl, I think I can do that. If not, this will be our, my first disaster, but at least I'm sharing it with somebody, right? And also, you know what else she made? Because as long as you have that batter, all that stuff, that you're going to have three different components of making these. Is She made uh, deep fried pickles. Right here. I'm going to be using my hamburger chips. So when you buy stuff, you think, oh, my God, I'm only going to use it for that one thing. But no, you're not. There are so many other recipes you can't. Just like the oil we did yesterday on my video when we did our uh, made our own uh, taco shells, I meant to say save that because you can reuse that. You can put it, like, in a coffee can or something sealed. And I wouldn't recommend plastic. I think plastic soaks in. I just would use a glass container or a tin. Mm. So anyway, that is what we're going to do today. And I'll show you the bowls. So you have three different bowls. We're going to do an, our egg and buttermilk mixture in one of these. And, I'm, and I got my cookie sheet out here, so I'm kind of working on top of that. Seems a little easier. Let me move the oil for now. We're not going to use that at the moment. Okay. So, let's, we're just going to, let my. you know, I got the recipe up here. Hers is a, a big recipe. It's like uh, four large eggs, two large onions. So, I'm, I'm going to kind of just cut that in half. Um, she's got the eggs and the buttermilk. I'm only going to use two eggs instead of the four, and then just a cup of buttermilk, which I was out shopping this morning, and buttermilk, nobody's got buttermilk. I'm like, it's right up there with nobody's got real cream. I'm like, what's wrong with what's wrong with everything that used to be in the grocery store? Because you know what? The almond milk and all the silk products have half of that cooler now, so they can't squeeze in any buttermilk. And, it, and there is a... A secret too, if you didn't have buttermilk, you could use regular milk. And I, I think they added vinegar, I'm not for sure, but I didn't look it up. So I went to Trader Joe's. I thought, you know, Trader Joe's, as I said, has the cream. Oh my gosh, they had buttermilk, although it's low fat. And I, me, I like to cook with the real strength stuff because it's tastier and I'm going to want less of it. But I, I think this will be okay. You know, you can't be choosy when you cannot find it. So let's just go, I'm going to mix them in here too, by the way. Uh, let me put them over here. Put them in the background. Those are going to dry my onions and my pickles because, in fact, maybe we should do that now. No, yeah, okay, we'll do that now. Because they have to be really, really dry. You don't want them wet when you're dredging them. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to... Put, get your little cookie sheet. Great investment, you guys. Great investment, right? Get your cookie sheet. Put your paper towels down. And we're going to dry out our, our uh, chip. dill pickle chips. And what did I do with that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, here it is. I gonna dig them out with my little tongs another reason you should have tongs I've never had deep fried pickles never I could I see them at the fair you know where you got that everything deep fried stand I should do that just different things because then you can experiment at home like the deep fried Twinkie oh, I don't know I don't know if I could do that I don't know what you do Whew. Well, you know, I love the pickle, so that'll probably be enough for me. Oh, yeah, look how they're they are really soaking up that moisture. 
That's good though. That was probably in the in the onions too. We got to do that, but that was probably one of the reasons my onions didn't turn out. Okay, you know what? It's just me. I'm just gonna put the pickles on the other side to dry. Okay, perfect. We'll do it on that side for the onions. Okay, that's good, you guys. We did that. Of course, you can use more pickles if you have more people. You know people to feed I'm so excited I hope these turn out because I, I, I really really do love them okay putting our pickles back there to dry and we should cut up our onion then to dry too oh I'll need a big knife because I have a big onion the bigger the onion the bigger the rings so what we want to do I gotta cut the skin off. Let me just let me just take the roots off of that one in. We gotta get all that uh, dry stuff off because I don't I don't want to eat it. But I'm not always for sure how to do that. I'm sure, there's an easy way. Okay. Yeah. Here it goes. Oh, yeah, work with me, little onion. Little big onion. This is the Papa onion. Papa. Okay. Over there. Oh, you know what? Let's get this off the other end. Probably makes it a little easy. Oh, here we go. Yeah, what else? You know, I'm learning with you guys, right? Cooking all my life, but not even really great stuff. So hopefully, I am going to do some great stuff that I haven't done with you guys. Because I know you don't judge me. Because I do not like haters. And even Shane Dawson gets haters. And I'm thinking, just just leave, just leave the poor man alone. I mean, not that he's the only one. Okay, so we got that all peeled. Wipe our board off. Yes, these are also workout pants that I have. They're a little wild, but I like them. They're comfy. So very, very comfy. Okay, so you can make your onion rings as thick or as um, thin as you want. Me, myself, I, I want to taste the onion. So I'm going to go pretty thick. Now that is probably, oh yeah, that's, I'd say that's a quarter of an inch. Oh, yeah. See? About that thick. That's how I want it. That would be perfect. Oh, and I haven't eaten yet today. I was going to grab a little snack because I went to Vons and I don't like to go there hungry. But, and even had a free Monopoly thing to get e either a free bagel or a donut. Oh, so tempting, but I'm like, no, I'm going to wait and eat with you guys. So I think, okay, right there, that's probably enough onion rings for me right now. So let me just put that over there. Wipe my hands. And then what we're going to do, we're going to separate that, okay? So we're going to bring this back over. And, you know what? That one might be a little saturated from the first pickle juice. So I'm just going to lay these out and use the other part. Oh, yeah. Much drier. Yeah. Kind of like the, I get the paper towels that have the little perforations because I always sometimes, do not always sometimes, that is not even making sense, but I don't always use a big one. So that one is way too thin. I don't think I want to use it because, whoa, right there, we're going to separate them. We're going to lay them out on our pan to dry. Oh, that, oh, that's going to be a good one. I guess I'm making up for lost time from not eating onions like for two years, three years even maybe. I'm like, mm -hmm, I can eat me an onion. Not that I couldn't before, but. And then the little ones. These are probably just as good. Um, we'll do the baby one. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Probably not going to make all of these right now, but I'll just put them out there. You never know. Somebody walk me walking. I might have company. Although I know I'm not getting Trisha because I met her this morning. She gave me some more Poshmark stuff. And um, 
She's going out to her dad's because it's her dad's birthday coming up right after her. So she is doing that, but chit chatted with her. Always nice to see her. What is it? Two, two, two more days till her birthday. And she's doing me something really, really nice. She, her uh, designer, Michael Philpott's coming over tonight. And she uh, gave me this dress that she had that's sparkly. She goes, Mom, I got a sparkle. And I always loved that, her dress. And he's going to fit it to my body. Good luck there, Michael. And I'm excited. So excited. I was definitely going to show you stuff from pics from her uh, birthday at the hotel. And she's going to have uh, a guy there who, who did her last birthday. He, I don't even know his name. So sorry. I'm going to find out. But he is so sweet. So, was just so humble about being there. And he's going to be taking all the pictures and videos. So there will be plenty of them because I didn't even know she's having like an Elvis impersonator. That, I mean, I haven't been at a party like this forever. And of course, you know, it's a casino night and she's having prizes. I'm like, she goes, you know, the, the party planner said, do you want the prizes or not? I'm like, she goes, oh, yeah. We, uh, that's my girl. Got to have the prizes. Even when I had a bingo party one time for her birthday when she was five, I had like 30 prizes there. I thought, you know, it's not just fun saying bingo and nobody hands you anything. I think it's just, just kind of fun. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, you know. But... I'm so excited. So excited. And it's my favorite color, purple. And I am getting my nails done. I'm getting my nails done today. I'm going to walk down to the pier and get them done. It's a long time overdue. And the reason I stopped was because uh, I had acrylics for a long, many, many years off and on. And it eventually split my thumbnails. And then I got that um, a little bacteria in the room. And then they got rays. And I think they wrecked my nail beds by all them um, machines that they put on your fingers, you know, so drills and, and maybe somebody did it wrong that I had gone to because I, I hope it's not normal, but um, that's what I'm going to do today and get a pedicure. So that's my day today and then tomorrow i got to do some stuff too to get ready. Hopefully her presents are coming that I ordered. I, it's like on Thursday, I'm like, oh. Because I already got her something, I can't say where it from, but I wanted to get her this other thing that I actually saw uh, one of her subscribers say, hey, you need this, and I got two of them for it. I will show you what that is, but I said it might not come till Wednesday. Oh my God, I think it's coming from Australia, but oh, I hope it comes because I want to have presents to give her, right? Right. Hard surface on the eggs. Here we go. And Yes, and yes, I am using the yolk. Oh, probably one other thing I did back in the day. I probably just did the egg white, but we are using full yolk. Uh, you know, I can usually make a recipe if, if I have the recipe in front of me. Especially if it's a first-time recipe one. Okay, so just because I touched the raw eggs, washing my hands. Also, I just got this little thing at Vons. You know why I got it? Remember I said I'm going to make, well, I don't know if I told you guys, but French onion soup, and I didn't have any cracks, so I'm thinking this is perfect for it. But I kind of like it. It's perfect for a lot of stuff, I'm thinking. I'm, okay, so. Uh, oh, you, did you guys know? Did I? Oh, man. I am so used to throwing away my yolks. I threw away that last one. What's wrong with me? Oh, well, I only need a yolk as long as there's one in there. So let's whip that pretty good. I had to get a red one. I have a silver whisk, too, but I, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is pretty. This is prettier. Okay, so we put two eggs in there. Somehow I feel this is important to measure. Probably not. It's just got to be wet. And we're going to add... A cup of milk. Now I've already got the eggs are a half a cup, right? So we'll add a cup and a half in there. Okay. See if I can get this one open. I don't. I know you're not. I, there's nothing I'm supposed to do is to shake in the milk, but I just shake things because I think things settle in the bottom. I don't know. It's hard to say. All right, you guys. I am going to use my glasses just to make sure. And 
we're going to go a cup. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. We got that, get those ingredients out of the way. Okay, oh. Sorry guys, I just don't want it to freeze, right? Okay, so. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's like the Little Mermaid, I guess, on my glass. What? What's his name, Eric? I should. No, because, oh, whoa, this is pretty thick. I guess this would be the secret, but I watch Little Mermaid so much. I love it. I love that movie. I love that movie. I love Beauty and the Beast. That's, I love love stories. Really nice when the man is really nice to the woman. I love that. Okay, wow, that is, that's probably going to work because it's really, really thick. Okay, so this is our liquidy stuff. Let's put that in here because we got to dip that stuff in. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, now I want to rinse this out, rinse my whisk out so I don't have to worry about cleaning off chunks of stuff, right? Okay, so let's let's put that aside. That's our dredging. And what's our next one? Oh, flour. Yeah. We could do the flour. Flour. Now this one's, uh, if you're making that, uh, two large onions and the four large eggs, which we're not, you would use two cups of flour. But I feel the flour doesn't matter because I'm not going to measure it because you just, that's all you do is flour, salt, and pepper. So it's not a big deal. If you run out, you just make more. Because you, there we go. Ooh. Put more in. I might be eating a lot. Right? Hey, how was your Cinco de Mayo, you guys, yesterday and last night? If you went out partying, hope you got home safe. And woke up to have a cup of coffee and a mimosa, right? But I heard Cinco de Mayo, I heard uh, music down the way. They must have Cinco de Mayo parties down my street. So it was like I was celebrating too, but wasn't there. Okay, well this, I'm a little messy little girl. Okay. So... Okay, so we got the flour. Oh, God. It's just one of those mornings. And I'm going to put some salt in. White. And a little pepper. That's all to your taste. I like pepper. I'm going to put a little bit more in. But I'm going to get these off the stove because I am going to have my hot oil going. But even though it's not going to splatter, in case it does, we are prepared. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this around. Mm. This going to be a new thing in my household. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to line these up pretty soon and have like a little assembly line. What is wrong? Let me get this wet. I gotta get them. Right now, I just want everything clean because we are going pretty soon. The magic happens. Okay, our last step, easy step, because you're just gonna pour these in a, a shallow dish, is our panko crispy bread crumbs. And my mom never had these. She always would dry her bread and then crumble it up herself, but I don't know. There might be a different taste of these. I don't really use panko a lot. And I seen there was like a Japanese style. I don't know if that's the same. So I just got this kind. The plain. Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. Already done for you. Alright. So it doesn't... Oh, this is six cups for the full order. But we're doing three. Once again, I feel like I don't have to measure them. Mm. Now I'm going to try that um, for that crunchy topping on my mac and cheese. Mm. That might be pretty, pretty good. All right, let me put that back there. Oh, by the way, this little Ninja Turtle, he's one of the originals back in the 80s. I found him. 
My son was so into him. He was on a soccer team, and they were, were called the Ninja Turtles, I believe. And I made this huge banner. I wish I could find the picture. It was, it was the bomb. I have to say, I did really, really good. Really, really good. I gotta, I gotta find that picture. I did it out a huge one, and then I did it out of felt, and I did all the turtles, and I put the felt mask on. It was very handy back in the day. Okay, you guys. Hey, it is time to do our oil. Now, let me just uh, get this all ready. I think I want to dredge. And we'll just have our assembly line over here, okay? And I'm going to try and fry in front of you guys. How's that? Oh, that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so... Let's turn that to a medium, because I feel if the, if the oil is too hot, it's going to burn them too fast. <laughs> I don't want that. I do not want to burn my onion rings. And let's bring over the stars of the day, my pickles and onion rings. Mm -mm -mm. So they look like, yeah, oh yeah, even there's moisture coming off of the onion, you can see on the paper towel. I think we're all good to go. See, normally I would have had a pickle, but it's like, oh, I'm waiting until the really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to put this on here because when I'm done, I want to drain my deep fried stuff on my cookie sheet. And it says you can drain it like on parchment paper. You know, I suppose uh, paper towels would be okay too. Oh, so excited. Okay. There we go. All right. So we can dispose of the paper towels. And, and really, when I get done with this video and that, I do clean up my kitchen. I don't like things in my sink, but it works. It, wor it really works for the YouTube. Okay, so here's our parchment paper. Perfect. I, mean, I could probably, I should cut it. Could be a little more neater today. Oh, with one of those, you just slide your scissors through. Okay, good. That's good enough. There, I feel like a professional there. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And letting our oil heat up. Maybe I'll do it to six. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more because I want my onion ring covered all the way when I do. Let's put this back over here. So I want it at least, you know, the width of my onion rings and then I'm going to turn it over. So let's put a little bit more in. And also, you're going to save this too. You know, restaurants save the oil a long time. In fact, some save it too long. Trust me, the one I've been at, it was black by time they changed it. And then they would change it only because, oh, health department's coming in. Hmm, let's change it. Secrets of the restaurant. That's why it's probably best to cook at home. But, mm. Okay, let me make sure on my notes if I got everything ready to go. So, uh, oh, oh, see, I've already got it out of line. You're going to toss it in the flour first. See, I had the wet ingredients first. So we're going to toss it in the flour and then dip it in the buttermilk. Then we're going to drudge it the second time. We're going to double drudge. That's a great word. That's the word of the day. So, so the word of the day. Me, I would just say toss and let's just toss it there. But that was probably my first mistake because I think I did the wet the wet liquid first. See, it does matter. It really, really does matter. So, come on, oil, let's go. Oh, I also I was listening to KTLA, and I, if you guys, there's a sausage recall. Just gonna shout it out to you there, so you don't get E. coli. Uh, Eddie Packing Company. There's a sausage recall. It uh, 
Packing dates were April 5th to the 6th. And the number on the... the I don't know. It says estimated number, 4,800. Not the, I think that means how many they, they made. They made maybe but you can purchase they were purchased at Eddie's Eddie Dickies Lowe's or Carl's so if you have that toss it you guys mm, toss it toss it okay you know what now when they say judge a second time maybe we can make these up because I wanted to make them up and then just sizzle them right away I think I think that'll work Right, you know what I should have is one of the oh, it is getting hot. Is one of those corn tortillas from yesterday and make some of the nacho strips. You know what? Let's just do that. We have time. I have time. I'm not going anywhere. Let me see. I, I, I did put them in here. Mm -hmm. See how what you can do when you cook at home, it's like while you wait while you cook, you're doing one of these. Mm -mm. Oh, that one's good. Okay, we'll just move a couple of these over and just cut it. Then we'll see. Because I, I really want these to turn out because they never have for me. And if we put this corn tortilla on, we'll see how hot it is and sizzle. You know, I know I should have a thermometer, but I don't. I really I don't have any of that. Once again, we're just doing it my way. I'm not a professional. Anything. I'm not a professional makeup putter on her, but I'd put it on because I don't want to scare you guys. I'm not a makeup or a makeup. I'm not a professional cooker, baker, whatever. Oh, see now. I just dip dip that in. And it wasn't very hot. But you know why? Because I added extra oil. I should not have done that. So while we're sitting here. How many of you guys uh, remember Steve Irwin from Crocodile Hunter? I love him. His family, I follow them on Twitter. His family seems so generally nice. I mean, if I wanted to have some friends, I want them to be my friends, but they're clear in Australia, but they had uh, a benefit last night in his honor to see, and they uh, were auctioning off different things, and one of them that I would have loved because I have been following this rhino, rhinoceros, he is the last northern white, the no, last male northern white rhino. And he's passed away a few weeks back. And he was huge. He was the most beautiful creature I have ever, ever seen. And um, so they just had a, uh, a fundraiser, a gala, and that to raise money to keep all the wildlife stuff going on. Uh, someday I would love to go over there and go to the Australian Zoo because I followed him all the time. I loved him. I loved him on the talk shows at night. And uh, I think they're pretty special to keep his legacy going. And they were here, too, a couple weeks ago for when he got his uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think that's, that's so cool. I love him. I miss him. He uh, actually, uh, if you don't know what happened to him years back, he got, uh, uh, it was an encounter with a stingray, right? And I think the, the stingray had that long thing or something and it went through him. So rest in peace, Steve. Love you. Still love you. Your family's great. You must be so proud. Okay, come on. Not, I even got on the big burner. I guess this the thing that we need to do is heat the oil before you do anything. That's why we have our mimosa today. <laughs> so, what else could we chat about? Oh, you know what I was thinking? You know how uh, all the Kardashians are always in the news, and Chloe, especially with her Tristan thing and then they said that Kim Kardashian and followed Tristan on Instagram and stuff but you know what she's trying to make it work hey girl go you got to do what you want to do in your heart she just wants the baby daddy to be around and I get that but um I always wondered what happened to Caitlyn Jenner 
but she was out there for so long and I haven't heard anything. I mean, like over a year. I mean, it's like she disappeared. And I know she lives out in Malibu and that. But if you guys know what happened to her, let me know because I, you know, I like her. I do. So that is that. Okay. Can't even get my tortilla. Oh. It is coming, you guys. So I guess the secret is maybe put it to medium high. Not high, but medium. Okay. So we're going to, yeah, here we go. See the sizzle? Do you guys see that sizzle? Let me put one up here. Oh, yeah. Now we are cooking. Oh, ho. And Rob Kardashian, too. I like, I like him. I feel bad. Sorry for him sometimes. I can't catch a break in life. You know, he just wanted to love the black china. And that didn't work. But he's got a beautiful daughter. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know why we're making these. This isn't on the menu for today. but Okay. So I'm going to get these out of here. Because then we're going to start with our onion rings. Onion rings first, I think. I guess I should get a plate out for them too because I am going to, I'm going to sit I'm going to sit at this new table I got it's like a bar table I'm going to show you it's got neon lights it's probably too light to see but uh, you plug it in and you push a button and the neon lights go on I figure it's kind of like my night light at night so that's what I'm doing because I don't need a big dining room table you know what I'm saying it's just kind of me all right, those look pretty good. Mmm. Whoa. -ho. This might push me just maybe to get a thermometer. Now that I know I don't need a deep fryer to deep fry. Mm, yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Well, I am going to push these to the side because I'm, I'm going to get um, started. And the first thing we're going to do... dredge our onion in, in the flour like it says okay and can you guys see my um this is our you know what i'm not even using the tongs because i like my fingers coat, coat it completely now we're going to go back to the flour it says because this is our double dredge time right and I'm, i put it the other way Okay, now, double dredge. I want to just make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, and wet again. Okay. Oh, wow, that looks really good. And, okay, now in the panko. Put that over. Turn, flip it. You know, you can be as messy as you want. I, that's what cooking's about. Being messy. Ooh. But I will. Take out my chips. Put them on that side. Ooh. I'm going to turn that down now a little bit since it's hot. Ooh. Yeah. And you know what? I'm just going to put my little salt on those. You, you guys can't see, but they're right there. Okay, so let's do this. I got our panko. And here comes the sizzle. Okay, I don't know what that is on there. Okay, that look like a hair, but here we go. Whoa! Oh man, I am on fire now. Here we go. Flour wet. Flour wet. And a pickle. And the onion. So flour, wet. See, it goes so much faster with your pans. I don't know, really. I guess this is so the panko crumbs adhere to your your stuff. Oh, let me just do another pickle. Mm. Oh God, I feel like I'm working at the fair. Get a job there now because I do have experience. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Okay. Now, before I get too carried away. I feel like this is going to work this time, you guys. I feel like it's going to work. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, oh hang on. You guys went. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to flip it when they're golden brown. Oh, that pickle looks really good. Huh. Mm. I'm going to wait until I get these done because I lose track of what I got going in my grease oil. And then I won't have anything. Mm. Mm. You guys see that? I'm going to move my pickle up here. See the pickle? Mm. I'm gonna, unless I get golden brown. And, oh my gosh. And I'm so excited because this, the grunting is staying on it. I'm so excited. Let me do some more. I'm so excited. I hope you guys make this if you're into an earring. Mm. These would be good on our burgers that we made the other day. Okay. It's actually quick. It'll be quick. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to get that one onion ring out because that looks like it's done. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. Hopefully, it tastes good, but okay. That pickle. I like to taste that. So yeah, hey, Trisha, for a year old, well, you did good. You did good. Mmm. Try some more pickles since I'm a pickle lover. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys don't like to deep fry. That's okay. Just watch my video anyway. Mmm. Uh. Mm. You would think this is messy, but it's not that bad. It really isn't. Okay. I think that's enough for me to taste. Because the good thing is about already having the oil is you can reheat it anytime you want. Okay, let's get the other ones out. I'm going to get this off. Because we are done with that. We are done. Let me hoist my pants up as usual. There's our deep fried pickle. How, how good does that look? My onion ring. Oh, can't wait to taste them, you guys. I'm so excited. Just really excited. And this, look at that. Oh, oh, I can't even imagine how that is going to taste. The sand. You know what? I need to get out something. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? eat out of yep, course you guys know cute little containers and yes these are ice cream but you can use them for anything you want because that's how I roll okay let's put them over here we're done with the paint put them in there we're gonna let them cool just uh, and they get to the consistency you want them at yeah, I think, I think the right heat is like 6 out of 10, um, the number 6 on my, is a little past medium. They are good. So we got those on our parchment paper. So we're just going to sit back and enjoy it. I'm going to have to make another mimosa for when we eat these. When we eat these little gems, right? So, another good thing about twist top, it will keep. And another thing, if you do open one with a cork and you don't have a champagne topper to keep the bubbles in, <sighs> hey, all in the bubbles. Uh, I put tin foil over it. I, I, you can rubber band it on too, but I find that that really does hold the bubbles in. I don't like to waste it. 
at all. And then our little orange juice. Okay. Let us turn these. Right there. Busy day across the street at the grocery store. He has uh, sandwiches and he has um, coffee drinks and all that over there too. So, boy, people go there. It's good. I need to try it. That could be my video. Okay, you guys, let me get my napkins out because it is almost time to eat. Mm -hmm. Here's a, one thing I want to make too. If I find recipes, I just tape them up on my cupboard. It's Hong Kong black pepper scallops. Oh, it looks really good. And now since I have a wok that I think I can cook them in, that will be amazing too. All right. These are looking good, you guys. You know. All right. I'm going to take this one out, this one is really good. My other pickle. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where you can get deep fried pickles in restaurants. I just know at the fairgrounds. And I'm sure they have them. Maybe more in the south, but hey. That way it's kind of healthy, right? A pickle. Alright. I think that one's done too. I'm going to get that out, see. And okay, now I'm going to shut the oil off because that is way, more, way enough for I. And then I'm just going to take some of this oil off. Mmm. Now we're almost ready for the magic hour. Uh-huh. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to plate up my food now. Let me plate it up. Look at that. Boy, if you serve this to your family and friends, they'd be like, you must have cooked all day. would be like, mm, yeah, I did. Mmm. So there's our onion rings. And thank you, Trisha, for these little dishes. I'm such a saver. Oh, man. That almost looks like chicken nuggets. Ooh, chicken nuggets, Trisha. Come on over. I'm going to make some chicken nuggets someday. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to blow out this candle since we're going to be heading to, which technically, I guess, is my dining room. Um, and there's no way, oh, you know what, I'm going to carry you with me. I'll just do it one at a time. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we'll take our onion rings over first. Uh, excuse my mess in the background. I've got a lot of Poshmark to get out that I'm going to pack up today. Uh, and thank you once again, you guys. Oh, we could probably go this way. Mm. And our drink. Oh, our napkins. And um, possibly my glasses. Here we go. We did it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> this is how you do it. Okay, well, we're going to push those over to the side. But I'm going to show you. Oh, this is my posh here. My little notes, but I'm going to try and turn this on. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see that? It changes. I thought it was glass. It's plastic, but I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to turn this little lamp on, too. Bear with me, you guys. I do not try anything out ahead of time, as you can see. Let me close this. Maybe it'll be better. No, that's not going to be better. There. Let's get the full... All the color. Maybe I can turn it a different way. That is not going to work. We might just have to go down on our little area. But anyway, I showed you. Oh, that's perfect. 
perfect. Maybe I'll go this way. Oh. Yeah, that'll work. I just got the wrong. I guess I can't have the windows behind me. So I will take this chair. Uh, mm. Always good for a different view, right? Can't get up, but. Okay. <laughs> so since this isn't a glass table, I'm like, oh, please, please do not fall over. So here's our fresh, fresh mimosa. Cheers, you guys. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers to y'all. Oh, I'm going to have to turn that down a little. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Let me pull my pants up and off we go. It's not as good, I guess, as me down there. and probably won't do that again, but... Oh, you know why? Let me put my chair down. Oh, hell, hell, whoa. Oh, well, that makes it perfecter. I know, that's not a word. So, I'm excited. I should probably have a plate. Let me... should probably have a bib, but I don't. So, anyway, another sip and off we go. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to taste first. I'm going to taste the onion ring because this was the first one I made, so I'm going to eat that first. Ready, you guys? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Did you see that? Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. I've been forever since I had onion ring, and that is so easy. Oh my gosh. Egg, buttermilk, flour, salt, and pepper, and your panko breadcrumbs. You guys will be able to deep fry anything. In fact, mm, if you do, let me know what they are. Mm. So, oh my gosh, I love these. I love these. Mmm. Oh, that was a mouthful. Mm, full. Mm, really good. Happy Sunday to me and you guys. Hey, this is like a party. Mm. Uh. That made my tummy very, very happy. And now on to the pickles. First time, you guys. And if, if you're going to make this all up, you probably should get some pickles, too. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> I might like these more than the onion rings. I don't know. I like them both, but mmm. Look at that. That is... Maybe I am a professional cook. I don't know. Mmm. It's hot. Mmm. Very good. Oh, man. You know, I got up this morning and I thought, I am going to cook today. And I thought, yeah, I don't know. And then... I remembered about the Food Network having these onion rings in that. And I'm like, oh, so good. Actually, you can make a ton of these for a party that if you had it. You could have dipping sauces like, you know, the ranch or the cheese or whatever. Mm. That would be good. This would definitely be good for a sound video because I got so much sound going on in my ears from the crunch. But I only had to shove that in my mouth because I had the whole I had to I had the pickle and the, what was left was the breading, so I had to shove it in so I get the full perfect bite, right? 
That's what um, Katie on the kitchen says. Get it the perfect bite. Mm. Oh, you guys, you got to make this. I mean, mm. if you don't even eat deep fried, make it for somebody that you know because it is really good. Really, really good. Did I guys tell you about what I saw on, on the news the other day? It was a, There was this uh, loss. He was a miniature horse not miniature pony it's a miniature horse uh they found and he was lost but they found out where he lived so this <laughs> it was the silliest thing this the cop was in the police car with his um driver's door open he had the little miniature horse on a rope and he was going to take it back to uh the stables where he lived and he what had he was driving very slow and the pony was following him Right beside him at the door, his, I mean, you know, his door is all the way open, but right beside him, he was walking him, or driving him there. Must have been a long ways away, because if the cop didn't want to walk, but I was like, that is so cute. Now I want a miniature horse with my doggy, with my puppy. I'm just going to get a, a farm, a little farm where I can have all these animals, which I've seen, too, that, oh, let's get the fat one, the chubby one. I'm, on YouTube, they have... Refu re rescue farms, areas that they can come and live their end of their life peacefully. I'm like, oh, I need to do that. You know, I wasn't a, I was not an animal lover when I was young. I regret that because shame on me, but I have learned to love animals so much. Mm. And somebody wondered what happened to, to the bird that was here, the son Conyer of Callie's. Well, you know, Calibu Dell, of course, she had to take it, but I babysit it sometimes. Ah, if, when I babysit it, the time I have her, I'm going to put her in a video. And she's going to do a mukbang with us. She can have her little seeds, and she loves peanut butter. Uh, that's her mama. And I always, she said, you know, you don't give her too much, Mimi. I'm her Mimi. Mm, she loves it. Mm. Makes me a little heart happy, like I said. Anytime I see anybody eating, I love, I love to watch that. Because eating makes me happy, yeah. Stuffing that in makes me think of an old boyfriend I used to have. Back in the day, he would get a Big Mac. Um, we were young, 20s, right early 20s, maybe even late teens. He would eat that Big Mac in four bites. Four bites! He goes, you know what? Got to get it in my tummy. He goes, don't waste time. Just get there so your tummy's not hungry. I'm like, yeah, I guess that makes sense, but... Many people linger to eat, which I will be doing when we go out for Trisha's birthday dinner <laughs> to savor the food, but I don't know. These pickles are pretty much where it's at, too. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to hashtag double dredging on this because that's where it's at, the double dredge. Who would have thought? The DD. Hmm. I'm not going to use the word toss ever, ever again. Hmm. I gotta push that pickle back in now. Mm -mm. Anyway. So good. Did I get something in the ring? Yeah, what? Octopus. The ocean. Once again, I thought in Trisha's tub she has three different colors, maybe four. I wear them all. I was gonna put them on Poshmark, but they're really so cute. I mean, really eventually. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Poshmark, I guess I should show you some of the other things coming up. And Sunday, I like to just not do so, so much. I, I used to work around the clock since then to January when I quit my job. I would just do it every day. I'm like, okay, I need a little. 
a little time for myself. But speaking of joy, I did find this little packet. And now I'm going to take it out. I'm not for sure what's in there. It's something. I'm sure it's very cute. Oh, it's a bracelet with those little... Oh, okay, that's not working for me. And the thing just... So, oh, it looks like handcuffs in there, right? Well, I, when I show it on Poshmark, I will take it out of the bag. But that is one of the items, right? And keep beating. Uh, the cute little skirt. No, I mean, it's, it's nice. It's not such a mini skirt. But I noticed there's not a tag in it. So what I do, I, I try it on and I, I try and figure out the size to my size. Because I don't want to bother Trisha because she's always, always such a busy girl. Wow, you guys, I am full. Whew. Whew. But I'll probably have one more. <laughs> and some um, plaid pants. Can't see who they're from because I don't. Ha Actually, they look like plaid leggings, don't they? Those are going to go up. And, oh, this is nice. I first thought this was a Santa outfit. But it's a robe. Oh, Victoria's Secret robe. That is nice. It's kind of like a mid-calf length. Ooh, so soft. It's like velour. I would keep it, but I already kept her chenille one. I love... I should, I'll do a video on that sometime when we're doing breakfast. Love my that chenille. I'm a chenille, and I love chenille bed dress. You know, in the day we had them on our, our twin beds at the farmhouse and you wouldn't I thought oh I really wish I had something really cute wish I had that now because I love them those are so cute okay um this little this is very fancy lingerie that's out of keeping it but I'm going to let you guys have it if you want it is a maxi that one I think what is that um oh that's a Victoria's Secret too very sexy. Anyway. Oh, I am full. But I haven't worked up a sweat yet, so I'm not that full. So we'll just have let's have the oh I should have made I should have made the little butt of the onion. I did, but we'll have one more. Um, okay. I'm gonna have a shout out for somebody to join me in my cooking show. Now that is the show. But Jonah, who is David Gilbert's friend, who is, loves to eat too, I'll make these for you, Jonah. I make you 20 of them and we'll eat together. Mm. I, I think you and I, mm hmm. We could have an eating relationship. Pretty much. It's like Burger King said when they retweet when they tweet him. And she said that that will bang with them doing Burger King in the car that Burger King King said, Jonah, that guy or the, no, they said that guy in the back, see, he's a spirit animal. <laughs> I'm like, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. We should be on the commercial soon. Better than that cartoon king guy, right? All right, I'm going to have one more pickle. And then I have to retire. So I'm eating, but my belly's going to explode. I need to get there out. I'm going to walk on the ocean today because it's Sunday. And a lot of people walk on this strand. Oh. This is what I'm going to do. And you guys won't think I'm a, a pig. You just think I'm ooh. Um, because it gets too crowded on this dram. Uh, I, I don't have time. I don't want to run over anybody. I always have to cross over in the other lane to get around people. So I'm going to just walk along the ocean today. And then I do a, a little couple jogs here and there. I used to jog a lot, but my knee got bad. So I have to kind of watch it. Um, it's tough not because I used I used to jog a lot, and I, I, you know, that's the only thing that kept my weight down. 
but just time when you get older it does it when you get older it really does happen you think is that gonna happen to you because I was always healthy till what age 56 and then whoa watch out it got me it got me good but you know what you gotta get yourself out there at any age Dang, those, I'm sorry, those pickles are just too good. My last pickle. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, these would be good on a burger, too. I should have the ultimate burger. With all the stuff that you could pile on it. I'm going to do that someday. Mm hmm I'm going to be able to get my mouth around it, but if you know somebody who has a really big mouth that would taste test that, maybe Jonah, I don't know. Mmm. Mm. Okay. So good. Hey, you guys. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I really, really, truly appreciate you guys. You guys have left so many nice comments. You guys are the bomb. Just going to say. I'm just going to say you're the bomb, but you guys haven't gotten the... Oh, that's the full effect, I, but I can't eat in the middle of my table. But that's how it's supposed to be. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. You guys go enjoy your Sunday. And, in fact, if you want me to try something to deep fry, put it in my comments. And you never know. I might. I will do that. Yeah, I always will do that. I'm always going to try and deep fry something. Hmm. Good idea. Anyway, till next time, you guys, keep yourself safe. Safe. Do something for yourself and do something special also for someone else that least expects it. Okay? I love you all. See you next time. Bye.